All right, here you go. Now we're moving on to a more challenging design. This is going to be a rectangular solid block. Uh, it's actually not solid. It's got a big rectangular cutout through it. So you can see the isometric here, uh, which you're going to create all four of these views. We typically start with the front view, then make the top and right side views. But what you can see from the front view is basically have a large rectangle uh, that's going to be three inches wide by two inches tall, and it's going to be two inches deep. Um, actually, that's, sorry, that's an inch and a half deep. So three inches by two inches by an inch and a half. Uh, and then there's a cutout through it right here, which is an inch by two inches, and it goes all the way through. Now you're going to get these hidden lines that go through, showing that there is a cutout there, but you just can't see it. That's why they're hidden. And you'll see that in the right side view also. When we do the isometric of this, uh, I would recommend starting with a large rectangle and then building off of that. You'll have your depth. Uh, and your cutoff all offset of that. Remember, these are all done at the angles. For example, to go straight down from here would be a negative 90 degrees. To come across here would be a negative 30 degrees. Okay. The only thing really new that we're throwing in here are the hidden lines and then the dimensions. And on CAD standard, there's three dimensions that you'll use. So if we go to the CAD standard page, um, let's see if we can reshape this real quick. Uh, you're going to see up in the top right of the corn, uh, top right in the icons. This is what's called uh, vertical dimension, or dimension vertical. This is what's called horizontal dimension, or, or uh, dimension horizontal is what they call it. And then this is an aligned dimension, which they call dimension diagonal. So basically anything that's not vertical or horizontal. And these are going to be your three different dimensions. So once you create that part, uh, you're going to... Um, huh. Once you create the part, you're going to add the appropriate dimensions on so that the finished product looks just like what you're seeing here. Okay, again, two inches tall, three inches wide, one and a half inch deep.